frantic calls to hospitals when her parents were infected with COVID-19 last month in case their condition deteriorated. You read in the news that, uh, you know, people had gone to hospitals and hospitals had refused patients. So, uh, and that they'd said that no beds were available. So that was a big fear. We'd also called up a few hospitals to check whether they would take the patients in and they had, some of them had flat out refused. To plug the shortfall of hospital beds, cities like Delhi have set up huge temporary COVID care centers. This 10,000 bed facility, fitted with cardboard beds and operated by the paramilitary, opened recently in a religious center. It is one of the world's largest. Delhi's race to convert train coaches, hotels and even marriage halls into care centers was inevitable. India's spending on public health is abysmally low. About 2.5 uh, beds per thousand population has been generally the norm, whereas in India it's been about 0.7 beds per thousand population. Struggling healthcare facilities as the virus rampages through densely packed cities have prompted new lockdowns in some places, like the information technology hub of Bengaluru. But in Delhi, there is a ray of hope. The number of people who are turning out to be new corona cases is on the rise but at the same time the number of people requiring critical care icu care ventilatory care is on the decline and today most of the covid caring hospitals in delhi have beds vacant for such patients that is because three months into the pandemic doctors have a better handle on treating the virus sued's parents for example recovered at home it's only later on that reassurance came that uh, only 15% or so may require hospitalization and only 5% may require intensive care. However, the pandemic highlighted the huge gap in facilities between India's expensive private hospitals and public ones. Middle and upper class Indians like Sood rule out being treated at a government center. That was never an option. I think the perception of a public hospital is that uh, basic hygiene standards might not be met uh, and, you know, fear that he'll probably be uncomfortable and contract other illnesses. So, yeah, that was never something we considered. Whether India overhauls its public health facilities remains to be seen. For the time being, the world's third worst affected country faces a long and hard battle as cases race towards the one million mark. Anjana Pasricha for VOA News, New Delhi.